We made a new product. Behind me are uh, 42 cases of the brand new, oh, the brand new Mystic Grips Rigid Card Holders, which is really cool. This is our first like not mystery product product. And we ended up today getting a shipment of, I think it was 504 boxes of these with another 500 coming in. So we ordered a thousand units original initially. And I'm really excited to put this out and see how people like it. This is, this is cool that we have like something that looks this official as well. This video was supposed to cover the entire process, vlogging the creation of these, the initial huge down payment we had to put down for it, the shipping process kind of getting a behind the scenes look of what it's like to create your own product like this. But I, the idea for this channel started way after these things went into production. But basically, to create these rigid card holders and to create this product, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna open up the first box of this because I haven't actually seen it. So it is plastic wrapped, which is really, really nice. We've never had a product plastic wrapped before. We don't have the technology for that in our office. So it's cool that this came like that. Okay, so plastic wrapping is off. Fantastic. The box looks sick, okay, the box looks sick. And then inside, we've got, cool, okay, so we've got all of the card savers, uh, and then we have these guys right here, which are the penny sleeves. So each box comes with 100 card savers, rigid card holders, they're called, uh, and then 100 penny sleeves with this like little, there's this little pull tab on the top right there. I'll show you with a card, cut this guy open. And these are cool, okay, so listen, these aren't just, uh, what's it called, these aren't just, card savers, check it out. Can you see it? It's got our logo on it, dude. This looks so cool. It's got a little MR on the top for Mystic Rips, obviously. This is so sick. So with this, we'll use this uh, cute little machoke from Neo Destiny Unlimited. So basically we have our penny sleeve, gonna pop this guy into the penny sleeve. So there's like this little pull tab that you can hold it with. What this is for is basically it just makes it easy to put cards in and out of these card savers. We'll put this guy in here. Nice, such good quality, dude. It slides in so easy. The problem with the Ultra Pro ones or some of the other ones that you find, it's just really difficult to like slide your card in and out and like, I don't know, sometimes people damage the cards because of that. So this is super duper nice. The cards go in super easy. And then as you can see, they're in with the little MR, the little Mystic Grips on top. That's so cool. And then you just basically grab this pull tab, grab the pull tab on the card and then you just slide it out, which makes it way easier than having to like dig your finger in there. Uh, to slide it in, so. Wow, that is that is nice, that is so nice, so sick. Jake's here, Jake, do you approve? Yeah, this is my first time seeing the the logo come out on it too. It Isn't came that dope? Out so clean. <laughs> That's so dope. Also, like, yeah, like how easily the cards slide in and out of these card protectors. Yeah, that's is crazy, that's crazy. And the amount of cuts that we're saving on our fingers from not <laughs> using the other ones, incredible. But yeah, no, that's super sick to like actually see in person. <laughs> They came out so good. So, okay, so the process on how we made this, for anybody interested in A, making your own product, or B, um, uh, what we went through, I guess, to make this. Because it is a bit complicated, but honestly, it was made super easy. I basically partnered with a friend of mine, um, somebody near and dear to me in the card space, to make this product, because he kind of had the, the factory set up already for it. So I didn't have to source any of that, which was really, really nice and really, really easy. But the process itself was simple. Basically, step one was create the design. So obviously, as you can see on the box, we've got the front design, we've got the side design, which has uh, kind of like the product specifications. Back of the box, same thing. Bottom of the box has our QR code that scans to our website where you can buy these. Uh, and, oh God, the same designer that we use for all of our Mystic Mystery products, uh, we use to create this. So step one, easy, create the design. After that, really, <laughs> again, this was super streamlined for us. After that, we just submitted the design um, to my friend who kind of handled the rest of the process. And then he worked with the factory to get the design submitted. I approved it, um, the order went in, and then three months later, this huge pallet arrived on our door. I'll show some pictures of the pallet. I, I wanted to film like the process of like <laughs> taking all the products from the pallet and bringing them up here because it was a pain, but I didn't want to like dox us. But this is super cool. And again, this is like our first product outside of uh, mystery product. We want to start making more things um, from the company. Obviously mystery product is great and we'll definitely do more mystery product because actually today we also got these in which uh, are the sleeves uh, or the, the packaging for our next mystic mystery product which is one CGC slab per one and then you kind of peel the top of it. So this is cool, but we want to focus on in terms of like products, products that like help people collect, 
uh, or help people collect better or, you know, things like obviously card savers, top loaders, penny sleeves. I mean, that's just a huge part of it. Other things being binders, something I would definitely love to work on in the future too. Just like, again, items and things that like help people collect better, keep their cards safe. This is great if you're going to grade Pokemon cards or any trading cards, like you have to submit them in these card savers anyways. So for anybody who's looking to grade their cards, this is like a great product for that too. Kind of aiming for that. We're looking to be like, I don't know, I kind of like want us to be obviously an entertainment business to where we make a bunch of like content and put out a bunch of um, like cool videos and stuff across different platforms, but I also want us to be like a functional brand where you can buy Pokemon card product from. There's fun mystery packs and product for it. We have helpful, I just regular kind of like day-to-day -day products like card savers, penny sleeves. I want us to become like a legacy all around uh, brand for uh, the trading card, specifically Pokemon trading card world. So this is like kind of our first step into uh, the like lifestyle, I guess you would say product realm, which is, I don't know, it's kind of exciting. It's pretty cool. And again, I think the box looks great. This is so sick. So again, for anybody who's like looking to do this yourself, or if you're a shop and you want to produce this, or if you want to make products in general, a little bit about our like distribution plan for these, because this is much different than like a mystery box where a mystery box we can just like open in a video, which is a really good ad to sell it. This stuff is a little bit different because not everyone buys mystery product or really even buys specific Pokemon product, but like everybody uses these products to like put their cards in. Um, so there's a much larger audience of people to like, I guess like market this to. So obviously with a product like this, like, you know, we're going to have like an advertisement in um, our YouTube video. Uh, upcoming YouTube video where basically just like, hey, this video is sponsored by um, this company, Mystic Rips. We are launching our brand new product. We have rigid card holders that come in this amazing box. Uh, there's a hundred of them inside. Basically just like kind of a standard ad in the video. And that's another thing too, if you're looking to like up, market a product, is that like people really value entertainment value. So with something like this, like, uh, although it's a super duper simple product and we can just be like, hey, you use these, buy them. That's like not gonna sell well. And also it's like not a really our brand. So like trying to think of like creative ways to like build content around the product that debut and show the product while also being entertaining at the same time. So I just spitballed the like, how many cards can I sleeve in 60 seconds? But we're probably gonna end up using that for the ad because that's actually a pretty good idea. And then maybe there's some sort of like reward if I do end up doing it in 60 seconds or a punishment if I don't make it a little bit more spicy and interesting so that like yes you are watching an ad but like it's entertaining and there's like stakes to it and there's a challenge so trying to figure out kind of like uh that like how to market that and then in our videos and stuff obviously when we like top load things or when I pull hits and stuff we'll be putting them inside of our branded card savers and then maybe like casually mentioning although one big piece of criticism that we've really taken in here uh at Mystic Rips is to not be so like I guess you would say like advertisement heavy. In a lot of our videos, we would like use a lot of videos to push like, hey, you know, like we are gonna be selling this here. We're gonna be doing this there. We have this product and this, and like people kind of just wanna watch a video. You know what I'm saying? They don't wanna like watch an ad. So in the videos, when we're using these, we're probably not gonna also promote and be like, if you want this, you could buy it. Like we're probably not gonna do that. We might do it subtly or sometimes, but like we're probably not because we don't wanna be too annoying, you know? We wanna make, a piece of entertaining content, not an advertisement. And if we're gonna make an advertisement, we wanna specifically say it's an advertisement so we're not like um, like sneakily putting that in there. We don't wanna annoy people. And then we're gonna have these and we're gonna sell them on like, we're gonna sell them on TikTok because for example, the like how many cards can I sleeve in 60 seconds challenge and there's a reward if I do it and there's a punishment if I don't, that's an interesting piece of content in general. You, I can make that into a TikTok and I don't know if it'll go viral, but like it's an interesting watch, right? It could be it could be a fun watch if we make it right. So I'm just gonna do that, make the TikTok version of that, maybe like bring the stakes up a little bit or like make the challenge a little bit more like flamboyant. And then at the end of the TikTok, um, that's how we promote the product of being like, and if you wanna get some of these for yourself, we just launched these, they're in our shop, you know, 5% discount live for the next 24 hours, something like that. Click the product link on screen, something like that. Because with TikTok, you can sell natively inside the videos, which is like their superpower. So TikTok, our marketing, just like challenge interesting content first, and then we sell at the end of the video super quickly. So we'll probably do that there. And then we're also gonna sell these on whatnot. I'm pretty sure we can sell these on whatnot just fine. Um, but we'll just have these there in our shop for people to purchase um, as they need it. So we'll see though. We have, again, we ordered a thousand total units of these boxes. So I'm super curious personally to see how these end up doing. Because again, this is like, this is a product that everyone uses. Um, 
but it's not like, it's not, I don't know, it's not like a mystery, there's no Pokemon cards inside, and we've never really sold anything that doesn't have Pokemon cards inside. Uh, well, theoretically, there will be, <laughs> you know, like this guy. So I'm curious, and this this will be the start of um, one of the branches of our business, which is like functional lifestyle trading card products. And this is the very beginning of it, which is exciting. So if these could do really well and people really like these, um, we'll definitely order more and do, and do more. And if these do really well, then we know that like, I don't know, like maybe we can start selling more things. Like maybe we start working with a company that makes high quality binders and we sell like a very high quality binder. Obviously Vault X exists and they collaborate with creators. Um, but you know, I don't know. I, it's like, I, I'd rather own it <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, it's nice, dude. I don't know. I've done YouTube for 11 years, bro. And the amount of like, the amount of like sponsorships and like collaborative products and all that kind of stuff that I've done, it's like always fun. But at the end of the day, like the, they own it and you're just taking a commission on it. It's not really yours. There's like a sense of pride with it being your product and your thing. Like I'm way more motivated to like make this product great because it's mine. You know, if it's just like my name on it, like, I don't know, I don't want to like tarnish my reputation, but like it's, I don't know, it's just not my own thing, right? Also, I'm not in control of improving it. So um, vault -X makes great binders. They collaborate with creators. I like that. Maybe we end up going with them. Would also love to make my own binder in the future if this thing does well. Not to compete with them, but just to like put out more Mystic Rips lifestyle stuff. Plus, I think we have an inherently cool logo and I think it looks cool on things. So that's super dope. And if you have any advice as well, would love to let, like know that in the comment section too, because like this is my first time putting out a product like this. Again, we've done like mystery stuff, uh, which has done well, but we've never really done something like this. So also I'm very new to this channel and I'm kind of just like rambling. And that's what a lot of this channel is gonna be is just sort of talking and rambling and going over like other like businessy stuff. But that's the new product, that's the new launch. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and check out the other ones on screen because we've got some more cool things going here at Mystic Rips. Thanks for watching.